everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today we are at week three of our Jewels of the Nile Cal. And I am so excited to take you to Esna. Esna was a temple that we visited very early in the morning. It was still dark when we left to go and visit it and we saw the sun come up and shine upon the temple. It was a glorious sight. Not only that, look at the colours of this temple. Look at the pillars and all their decoration. These colours have not been touched since their creation. It's unbelievable the decorations that you can see here on the ceiling. So let's get started. So we are at row 61 and we are using Antique Apricot and we are going to be doing row Esna X. For this week, you might want to go up a hook size from what you have been using in the previous weeks. So as you know, the row Esna X or the X row will just be done the once because it is so that we can adhere to the previous row. And of course, the previous row is row 60 and you will have finished in a duck egg shell so 61 antique apricot esna x and we are going to pull through the color chain one and we are going to turn then for row x we are going to do a double crochet a chain one and a double crochet into the same stitch so we do that straight away. There we go. And then our repeat starts. And the repeat is chain five. One, two, three, four and five. Then we are going to skip four. So that means you're skipping one, two, three and four. So the next stitch is where you're going to be placing a single crochet. So let's do that. And of course, that is also the middle stitch of your shell there. Voila. Single crochet into the middle stitch of our shell. Then you are going to chain five. One, two, three, four and five. And then we are going to place a puff stitch onto the double crochet of the previous row. Now a puff stitch is the following. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. Don't do anything more for this one. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert and pull up a loop. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on our hook. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all seven loops. And that is our puff stitch. Then we are going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the middle stitch of the shell. One, two, three, four, five. And a puff stitch there again on top of that double crochet. So yarn over, insert, pull up a loop and pull up high enough. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through the seven loops on your hook. And we start the repeat again. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Single crochet onto the fourth double crochet of the shell one two three four five and a puff stitch there we go and this is what you will repeat all along your row so i have now nearly done my whole row i've just finished my repeat here 
ending with my puff stitch then we just need to continue chain five one two three four five skip four single crochet in the fifth stitch then one two three four five then skip four and that will bring us to the last stitch here where we will place one double crochet one chain and one double crochet to finish that row and so we don't do the last pull through for our change of color so now you should have 19 puff stitches and i have six of them which is gold and we need to do esna two so let's get going on that so first of all cut off the previous yarn there we go pull through the new color and let's get started on esna two so chain one turn and we do one double crochet in the same stitch so on top of the last double crochet of our previous row and then we do three double crochets in the chain space here so one two and three so now we are going to start with our repeat so the repeat is the following chain one one double crochet on top of the single crochet so you go over to this single crochet here and you do a double crochet into it then you chain one and you go to the puff stitch and there you are going to do three double crochets two chains and three double crochets now you just have to try and find the same location each time for you to go into so you use the same sort of location on top of that puff to place your shell there so as you can see there's a v lying on top of my threads here so that's what i'm going to be using into the v on top of the puff and i'm going to be placing three double crochets two chains and three double crochets into that same location it will expand it will go sideways a little bit but that's okay there we go okay then we are going to start our repeat again where we chain one one double crochet on top of the single crochet chain one and we do the three double crochets two chains and three double crochets again on top of our puff stitch chain one double crochet on top of the single crochet chain one and we do the shell again and this is how you are going to continue all along this row So I have made it to the end of my repeat here with my last shell. Then we're going to finish the row by doing a chain one, double crochet on top of the single crochet, chain one. Then we are going to here in this chain space, place three double crochets. and a double crochet on top of the last double crochet 
in the row. There we go. So now I have six full shells and two half ones, and you will have 19 full shells and two half ones. So make sure you go in the description box below, find the link to go to the written pattern on the blog to find also the color table for week three. OK, so week three, row 63 is going to be in natural and it's an Esna three row. So let's get started with, yeah, first of all, cutting off our previous yarn, then pulling through the new color. There we go. Esna three, we are going to chain one, turn, and we are going to do a single crochet in the same stitch. So single crochet in that first stitch. So then we do a chain one, and then our repeat starts with a chain five. So we do one, two, three, four, five chains. So in the beginning we have six chains here really, but I've split them up so it's easier for the repeat. And we are going to be doing a puff stitch onto the double crochet on its own here. So yarn over into that double crochet for our puff stitch. And then you pull through all the loops on your hook. There we go. Then you chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we do a single crochet around the chain space of the shell. One, two, three, four, five. So then we do a puff stitch on top of the double crochet there. So into that double crochet and help with your finger to hold on all those loops. There we go. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Single crochet around the chain space. One, two, three, four, five. And this is how you are going to continue all along your row. I will see you when you're nearly at the end of it. So I have now made it to the end of my repeat here. So I just have to add five more chains, then a puff stitch on top of the double crochet. So Esna three will give you 20 puffs in total. Then six chains and a single crochet on top of the last stitch. So that's that V that you find sort of on the side there. There we go. So when we have a single crochet where we have to change color, of course, it's going to be now that you have to pull through the color. So let's put it down, cut off the yarn. And we are going to be doing Esna 4 for row 64. And row 64 is done in pumpkin. So let's pull through the pumpkin and finish that single crochet. There we go. So chain one, turn, one double crochet in the same stitch. Chain one. And then we start the repeat with chain one and three double crochets two chains and three double crochets on top of the puff. So let's 
start with making our shells here, which consist of three double crochets, two chains and three double crochets located on the puff. Then we do a chain one and replace a double crochet on top of the single crochet. There we go. And that is our repeat. Chain one, go to the puff and do your three double crochets. Two chains and three double crochets. Then we do a chain one and a double crochet on top of the single one. And this is how we are going to be repeating this sequence all along this row. And I will see you at the end of the row. I'm nearly at the end of the row here just need to continue with a chain one a three double crochet two chain and three double crochet shell on top of the puff there we go then i'm going to do a chain two and one double crochet on top of that single crochet to finish that row. And of course, we are ready for the color change. So I now have seven shells, but you should have 20. So let's cut off the yarn and let's go and do Esna 1 now. So this is a four row repeat. We have done Esna X, Esna 2, 3, 4 and now we are going to go and do Esna 1. So Esna 1 is row 65. Here I have the blush. Let's pull it through. There we go. And we are going to chain one turn and we are going to be doing one double crochet one chain and one double crochet in the same stitch so one double crochet one chain and one double crochet there we go then we are going to chain five one two three four and five and then we have here a location for a single crochet one two three four five and we place a puff on top of the double crochet so make your puff and pull through all the seven loops there we go and then one two three four five again and a single crochet around the chain space one two three four five now when you make your chains make sure they are a length um, you need to make sure that your work here doesn't pull in and of course doing so many chains might make do that but make sure that you actually have a fully fledged chain which takes up the, the amount of space of a, of a proper stitch okay so let's go and do a puff on top of that double crochet one two three four five single crochet one two three four five i will see you at the end of the row 
I've nearly made it to the end of my row. This is the end of my repeat. So now we add five chains. So one, two, three, four and five. Then here we place a single crochet around the chain space. Then we are going to be doing one, two, three, four, five. And now into the last stitch here, we are going to place one double crochet, one chain and one double crochet. So let's do that. We finish the way we started, of course. And here we don't pull through the last pull through, ready for our change of colour. And as you see, on either end we have a V and in between we have 19 puffs and I have 6 puffs. So let's cut off the yarn. And now really we are going to be starting the repeat again by doing Esna. 2, Esna 3, Esna 4, Esna 1, 2, 3 and 4. So make sure you go to your colour table, find which row you are doing, find which colour you are doing and then find out which row you are doing. Now if you find that the sides of your blanket are going in, so the width of your blanket is decreasing, you might want to consider using a hook that's half a size up from your usual hook but only if you notice that it does go in and you can do that now after these five first rows and see if that makes it better. I hope you will enjoy this week's puff stitches and I will see you next week. Bye! <laughs>